I'm so happy with how these turned out. I actually made these dreads twice as quick as what I did last time. I found a new method of making them, so it just speeds the whole process up. It's just so much easier now. Okay, so today I'm going to be dyeing the dread extensions. It took me a whole day to make the dread extensions. I have over 60 dreadlock extensions here. I'm going to be dyeing them with Arctic Fox hair colour. So I'm going to try a new method on dyeing these extensions. Hopefully it will save time, speed up the process. I'm going to use a bowl of hot water and I'm going to mix probably about a spoonful of the hair dye add a few drops just so it's nice and pigmented. Once there is dye in the water I'm going to submerge the dreadlock extensions for about 10 to 20 minutes then hopefully they'll be dyed the colour we're looking for. So I'm trying out this method dyeing the extensions because I just think if I have to brush on the dye on each individual dreadlock that's just going to take way too much time. So save time, speed it up and literally just dunk it in some dyed water. I'm going to do about 15 dreadlocks with the purple hair dye and then the rest of the dreads with the aquamarine, the turquoise colour. Okay so I'm going to put gloves on. So I've got like warm water in here. I'm going to start with the aquamarine. If you guys want to try this hair dye I have a discount code I will put in the video description box for you. I think I'm going to just put it in like this. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna give it a mix. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off with one dread and see if it's a dark enough blue. So I'm just gonna dunk it in. Okay, so it's working, but I want a darker blue than that. So if you don't want to use too much hair dye, you can always use less water so it's not diluted so much. Okay, so I'm just going to pour out some water. There we go. I'm going to add some more of the turquoise, darken the colour up a bit. and give it a really good mix. I'm just going to mix it with my hands. Oh yeah, that's a really good colour. So I'm just going to do this. Okay, so now I'm happy with the colour of the dreadlock. I'm just going to submerge the rest of them in the water. So the longer you leave them in, the darker they are. So I think 10 minutes should be okay. Also remember, where I put the rubber bands to section, the dye is not gonna go on that bit. So just remember that you'll have to cut that bit off. Okay, so now we have Oh, the dreads in the water. I'm just going to kind of squeeze them, get the water to go in the dreads and soak it up. All right, and I'll show you what it looks like in 10 minutes time. Okay, so I'm really impressed with how these dreadlocks have turned out. It's <laughs> going to be my new method now for dyeing them each time because it just saves so much time. I mean, look at them. So good. These haven't even been submerged for like 10 minutes, it's been probably about 5 minutes. It helps using a really pigmented dye. So Aquamarine is one of my favourite hair dyes. There's so much pigment in here. You can dilute just a tiny little bit and it will go such a long way. Okay, so I'm just gonna dunk it a few times, run my hands down them, squeeze the excess out just so we can see if there's any bits that we've missed. Sometimes if you open the dreadlock up you will see that the dye still needs to go into the middle of the dreadlock so these ones are okay 
it's amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these for another five minutes and then we'll get going on the, the second batch, which is going to be purple. Okay, hi guys, so it's been about 10 minutes now that they've been in the water for. So I've taken out this set of dreadlocks and I'm really happy with the colour they've gone. So I'm going to take out the rest of them, I'm going to squeeze out all the excess water and then start the next colour. Right, so I just changed the water, put fresh water here, nice and warm. Now this time we're going to be doing some purple. So I'm gonna go with Purple Rain by Arctic Fox hair color. Squeeze it in here. Okay. Now this is really pigmented hair dye as well. So you don't need a lot. Um, oh, look at this, it looks like noodles, purple noodles. It's so cool. All right. Mix it up. Okay, now I'm gonna just pop them in. Okay, so you can see that we're gonna need a lot more hair dye. It's very, it's got like watery looking. So I can either pour some out and add some more dye. don't want to take too much water out otherwise it will be hard to submerge the dreadlocks so we want to completely cover them with the water okay probably about I don't know a quarter of the bottle I think for this one look how good these dreadlocks have gone they're so lovely I love that color blue it's like a turquoisey color it just goes so nicely with the purple so I'm gonna take these ones again See if it makes it a bit darker. Well, look at this, guys. Oh, it's so much nicer. Oh, yeah, this purple is perfect. Love it. Oh, so nice. Okay, so I'm going to take the rest now. I'm happy with those colours. And I'm going to pop them in. <laughs> As you can see, the longer you leave the extensions, the darker the colour will be. Kind of massage them, give them a little squeeze probably going to leave these for the full 10 minutes but yeah you can see the first ones we done perfect colored purple yeah I'm happy and it's gone all the way through the dreadlock remember to just kind of open the top of the dreadlock where the weft is just to check that the head eye has seeped all the way through it's so easy to dye them now <laughs> why didn't I dye my last set like this I would have saved like two days of, of time <laughs> okay right anyway okay so I think these ones are done I'm just going to squeeze the water out of them and then leave them to dry put them on the side I finished the second batch of hair extensions the purple rain this purple is gorgeous oh I love it oh it's beautiful and the first lot with the turquoise so this method for dyeing the extensions just speeds up the whole process so much like <laughs> i wish i did it sooner but i'm really excited to put these in so i hope this video was helpful for you guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up go subscribe for more and i will see you lovelies very soon bye guys